Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to Mr. Grable and our grade 3 ELA class where we read amazing books. This one's called Nine Kilometers. Nine Kilometers. Hmm. And it's written by Claudio Aguilera and Gabriela Leon does the... Sorry, the... Looks like a map or something there. Hmm. Let's find out. Nine kilometers. By Claudio Aguilera. Hmm. There's some facts there. Like most students around the world, Chilean students use the metric system to calculate distances. Use the list below to help you calculate distances in both metric and imperial units. So one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. One kilometer also equals 0 0.62 miles. Nine kilometers equals 9,000 meters. And nine kilometers also equals 5.59 miles. There's the details there. Hmm. A math book perhaps in ELA. Oh. Starts off with a picture. Looks like an owl. It's still dark when I leave home. Ooh, looks like a boy there in the doorway. Hi, hey, girl. Oh, maybe that's mom. Here we go. Here we go. It's cold out, but when I'm walking, I don't notice. I like to walk. To walk and to count. Huh. At school, I learned that one kilometer is the same as 1,000 meters. So then, nine kilometers is 9,000 meters. One nine and three zeros. Walking in single file. It's a lot of steps. My teacher said that it takes around 1,600 steps to walk one kilometer. So, nine kilometers would be almost 15,000 steps. So many. But I think it's fewer, because I also look for shortcuts, and I skip and leap. How many leaps would it take? to travel one kilometer. Looks like you found a stick there. Oh, that'd be a great slingshot stick, I think. That's pretty cool. There are times when I've wanted to count my steps, but then the barking of dogs, the song of the kachua birds, or the buzzing of the grasshoppers jumbles all my numbers so it kind of throws them off you know you get the 1500 it's easier to count butterflies one day I saw 15 white yellow and orange ones and 10 lizards green and purple ones Oh, well, he's exploring on the way to school. <gasps> Is that where he's going? I don't know. I'm predicting. Maybe he's going to school. Maybe he's going somewhere else. He's got a backpack. I guess we'll see. I read in a book once that a snail can travel five meters in one hour. That means it would need more than 70 days to travel nine kilometers. For a puma, 
it would take barely seven minutes to go nine kilometers. For a ray of light, much less time than a blink of the eye. Yeah, Pumas and rays of light go really fast. <gasps> oh, he's going across a river or something. But I am not a snail or a puma or a ray of light. Ah, he's a human being. So I keep walking across the pasture in the fields. Oh, well, there he is. Way back there. More walking. I think it's a hawk this time and not a owl. Nine kilometers is almost 15,000 steps. Maybe more. Because there are days when nine kilometers feels like a stone inside a worn out shoe. That doesn't feel very good. He's a good skipper. Ooh, lots of skips there. Ooh, look at this. Cool. Other days, however, the steps feel as sweet as a handful of blackberries or a ripe apple. And they pass as quickly as a shadow. Look at that. That is a wheel and pulley system. Cool raft to get you across there. Neat. Some science in here too, right? What fits in nine kilometers? My teacher asked me one day. Enormous things, I answered. The 10 largest buildings in the world. 30 gigantic aircraft carriers. And more. Dun, dun, dun. 90 football fields. That's soccer here in Canada. Football. 90 of them. And also many little things. The kind that can't be counted with numbers. Ooh, like raindrops. Look at all those raindrops. Imagine trying to count those. Ooh. Nine kilometers is 9,000 meters, which is a nine and three zeros. Found his buddies. Ah, uh, I think I was right. My prediction looks like a school. Nine kilometers is almost 15,000 steps. Maybe more, because our legs are short. Finally made it to the school. But our steps are always enough for us to arrive. They made it to the school. 9,000 steps. Oh, look at that. They show the school from way far out, kind of on a map there. I wonder where it came from. Long distance away. And there are many other stories, boys and girls, as you can see on here. Now, we're not going to read them all in this video, but many other stories of children walking to school a long, long ways. Okay, so this one's called Nine Kilometers. Great book that we just read. Now, my question for you is how long, how many steps does it take you to walk to school? I'll bet it's less than 9,000. Maybe count them next time. That could be fun. But just make sure you get there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.